Hello, and welcome to the SDSC family. We are excited to have you planning your future here at South Dakota State University, and we are here to share a bit about resources on campus, specifically the South Dakota Agricultural Heritage Museum. Our museum can trace its roots back to 1884, when the university, then called South Dakota Agricultural College, wanted to preserve its history. Over the years, we have grown to be the state's official museum for agricultural and rural history. While we are a history museum, our museum's mission is to inspire a passion for the diverse history, culture, and science of agriculture in South Dakota. Our facilities include two galleries dedicated to rotating exhibits, a children's gallery, and our main gallery devoted to our permanent exhibits. In addition, we also have an on-site library that is open to the public, including SDSU students on appointment. We are located on campus at the corner of 11th Street and Madary Avenue. This building was constructed in 1918 as the college's original stock pavilion and meat laboratory. When the Animal Science Department moved to its current location in the 1970s, the stock pavilion was renovated to become the new home of the museum. And in 1978, the building was placed on the National Registry of Historic Places. While we have completed some major renovations in the past 10 years to help preserve the main floor of the museum, Many original aspects of the building can be seen on the lower level, or the old meat lab, including the original sales floor window located in the current library, product coolers that now store artifacts, and a carcass rail system on the basement ceiling. While our exhibits are a key part of our museum, we also offer a variety of events, programs, and workshops. Some of our more popular choices are the beginning knitting and crochet classes taught by the Brookings Fiberworks Guild, our winter market events held in partnership with the Brookings Farmers Market, and our ever popular lecture series. If you are interested in our calendar of events, you can find it on our website at www.agmuseum.com. Now that you know a bit about our background, we want to highlight some opportunities and ways you can utilize the museum resources during your time at STSU and beyond. Do you need some primary sources for your research paper? The museum has a great archive with manuscripts, photographs, and historic books about South Dakota cities, townships, counties, and agricultural history. These resources are cataloged through Briggs Library and located in our museum library that is open to the public by appointment. In addition, we have a large collection of artifacts both in the museum and at our other off-site storage facilities. Carrie, our collections coordinator, would be happy to answer any questions you may have or to help point you in the right direction for your research needs. Our museum staff also serve as guest lecturers for multiple history classes in partnership with the School of American and World Studies. They also help teach the Intro to Museum Studies class with the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Studies. While we have five full-time staff members who run day-to-day -day operations, we also hire and accept students who are looking to complete internship requirements for their major or minor. During both the school year and in the summer, we hire several interns to help in specific departments at the museum. In the past, we have had interns work with collections, education, and graphic design. We accept applications year-round for unpaid internships 
for students looking to fulfill their graduation requirements at area universities. In the summer, we typically have a limited number of paid internships available for students looking to fill an internship with a higher hour requirement. If you have been granted work-study hours, we also hire students year-round to help with duties around the museum. In the past, work-study students have served as front desk staff, helped at museum events or with school tours, done research, aided in installing exhibits, and cataloged artifacts. For more information on working at the museum for an internship or through work study, contact Gwen, our museum director. If you are looking for an opportunity to log some service hours or have an interest in volunteering, make sure to check us out. We are always looking for volunteers and have a variety of projects available that will fit your interest. Some of our current and previous volunteers have worked on projects like conducting research for exhibits, cataloging collection pieces, preparing for events, building exhibit pieces, and more. In addition, the museum serves as the host institution for the National History Day in South Dakota program. Each spring, we utilize between 80 to 100 volunteers to serve as judges, door monitors, and timers for the state contest that is held in the student union. For more information on volunteering or the National History Day in South Dakota program, contact Sarah, the museum's education coordinator. As we close, we would like to take a moment to wish you good luck during your time as a Jackrabbit at South Dakota State University. If you have any questions about the information shared in this presentation, please contact the South Dakota Agricultural Heritage Museum at 605-688-6226 by emailing us at sdsu.agmuseum at sdstate.edu or by visiting our website at www.agmuseum.com.